let's now dive into text and article analysis. So in this lesson, we're gonna talk about finding articles online that you wanna learn about that are dense in the nature of how much text there is to go through. And we're gonna see how we can use ChatGPT to paste URL links directly from articles into the platform and summarize it so that you can get the information you're looking for much more quickly. We're gonna start with this James Webb Telescope article. And the title is, Why the First Webb Telescope Images Means So Much for Scientists. And as we scroll through here, we can see it's pretty extensive. There's also other parts of this web page that we don't want to put in the chat GBT. Obviously there's ads, there's other sections for other articles, and there's other text going on. But we're gonna go ahead and grab this URL, and I'm gonna go to chat GPT, and I'm gonna paste this in, and I'm gonna ask it to summarize the most important information from this article into 10 bullet points. And what ChatGPT is gonna do, it's gonna take the title, it's gonna take only the information that we want, and it's going to break that down into the bullet points that we requested. And so as you know, here's our bullet point list. We can generate a new response. We can open up and dive into further detail any of the specific points. And we can also ask ChatGPT to define whatever parts of this breakdown that we want. For example, what is a mid-infrared instrument? And what is a near-infrared spectrograph? If we want more elaboration on those things, we can copy them, put them into ChatGPT, and it's gonna give us a breakdown. So there's our definition of a near-infrared spectrograph. And the next thing that we can do to take this one step further is to ask ChatGPT to take the 10 most important keywords in the original article that I shared and define them. Let's see what we get. Now we have a bullet point list of the top 10 most important keywords from our original article. And for this example, I'm not going to break down any of these further, but what I want to do is ask what other events and information that's related to this topic that I should learn. So here's the list that it gave me. It gave me more details on the James Webb Space Telescope. It also talked a little bit about the Hubble Space Telescope, that how it was the successor to that telescope, and a few other events. But honestly, what I would rather get are other related um, key points in history and other topics related to NASA and these types of similar space events. So let's change our prompt to what are 10 other historical and significant events different from the James Webb Space Telescope that someone interested in space would want to know. Let's see what we come up with. Perfect, and we have our list of other important, significant events in the same genre of information. Now, lastly, what I wanna do is, because it's mentioning the Hubble telescope again and how the James Webb was a successor to this first piece of technology, what I wanted to do to further synthesize this information is compare the similarities and differences of the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope. Explain the differences in simple terms that the average person would understand and find interesting. Perfect, and here's our comparison between these two pieces of technology. It compares the size, the wavelength, the location, the purpose, the instruments, and the launch.